In today's video we're going to be melting down some HDPP plastic and we're going to build a climbing peg. In a previous video I was making different kind of climbing hold shapes out of HDPE and now I've got a different method to produce a peg. I've got the video sped up here about 10x. So it doesn't take the full half hour it took for me to melt this plastic down. As you can see, I'm using plastic bags and cut up pieces of a cat litter container that you will see later in the video. And those are my primary pieces of plastic for this. I also throw in a couple of bottle caps just because I had a few miscellaneous colors available to me. For the grocery bags, I put one inside of another. I kind of fold them up into a little rectangle that'll fit inside my little tray that I've got for the toaster oven there. I just sandwich that in between two pieces of plastic from the cat litter container and it melts pretty quickly. It only takes a few minutes as you can see. It shrinks down pretty quick. Then you just take it out, stretch it a little bit, squeeze the air bubbles out, and get it ready for the next round. The items I use to actually make this climbing peg is a little hollowed out tree piece that I had when I had a snake and then I use a base of an ashtray that I took for molding purposes and I've also got a little push stick you can see in the center there that I kind of mash down everything that's going to be the peg portion. Total here took about 10 to 15 bags, portions of two of those cat litter containers, four bottle caps, five actually, because I started with one on the tray. took about 30 minutes of melting time after I get the form made and let it cool I let it cool for another 20-30 minutes and then I'm ready to start drilling the holes out give you a little drill guide for the screws or bolts that you mount this to a wall Now the cook time is over, I slowed it down to about 5x just so you can see the process a little better. I just kind of mold it to its basic shape, kind of push it down into the base, and I use my push stick to kind of ram the egg portion down, fill the center of the log, and then let it cool. After it's cooled for a while and it's cool to the touch, I just take the new piece out and I drill holes in uh, three different spots. Kind of clean up all the little straggling pieces because I'm going to collect all those and reuse them in the next room. And I take a little flat panel bit and kind of bore out the tops of the holes so uh, if you use a screw, it goes into flush. Ending the video with a little time lapse I shot of the milk process to 